This video is going to contain some tips for helping you become a successful organic chemistry student. A lot of students come into organic chemistry with anxiety about the course, and while it is true organic chemistry is definitely a hard subject, I totally believe that everybody has the ability to be successful in organic chemistry. I think the first thing that you can do for yourself as a student is to find a pattern of studying that works really well for you. Ideally, you would be studying organic chemistry a little bit every single day of the week. Uh, and just to get yourself into this pattern of studying. Maybe more realistic, you would be studying five days a week, um, but I would encourage everybody to study a little bit every single day. Organic chemistry is not one of those subjects that you can successfully cram. There's just way too much information uh, for you to be able to just jam it into your brain at the last minute. So what I'm going to do is give you a list of the strategies and things that worked for me when I was a student, things that helped me become successful, not just in OCHEM, but successful as a chem major in general. The first thing that I would always do as a student is read my textbook in advance. So I would read my textbook uh, before my instructor covered the material in class, I would always try to stay um, a couple of sections ahead of my instructor. So when I would come to class, um, the instructor would be lecturing on stuff that I'd already read about, and that made the class make a lot more sense to me. It made it easier for me to understand what the instructor was talking about, made it easier for me to follow along, uh, and it made it uh, possible for me to take, or excuse me, to ask good questions during class if I had questions. While I was reading my textbook, I would also take notes on the material as I was reading it, and also, I would, while I was reading it, I would work on some of the easier problems in the textbook. So this would be uh, problems that are in, like examples that are in the textbook. And then I would also work on some of the problems that were at the end of the chapter in the textbook. And I do wanna point out here that this is not me doing homework at this point. This is just me working on practice problems, just to try some of these problems out. And then uh, of course, then I would go to class that's obvious, and I would definitely not want to miss organic chemistry. And while I was in class, I would uh, obviously take notes. And I would actually take notes like with my hand. I would write them down, not just taking pictures of the whiteboard or um, following along with PowerPoint slides. Uh, even if the instructor had provided PowerPoint slides, I would still write my notes by hand. And they would oftentimes be very messy, and that was okay. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. After class, as soon as possible, I would rewrite my messy notes. Um, and this process of rewriting notes, I don't think that this is a very common strategy that students use. I don't see very many students doing this. But for me, rewriting the notes was super helpful. I believe it was super helpful in my success in OCHEM. So first of all, by rewriting my notes, it gave me an opportunity to add more detail to my notes. You know, sometimes um, there was stuff in class that I just didn't have time to write down. Rewriting my notes later on at a slower pace gave me an opportunity to fill in little details from class. Also, rewriting my notes made it possible or sort of like, this is going to sound cheesy to say, but it gave me permission to take really sloppy and messy notes during class. My notes that I took during class were super messy and it was okay because I knew I was just going to rewrite them later on and they were going to look better uh, once I had rewritten them. And by taking these messy notes, um, that way that allowed me to like jot stuff down really fast and like still continue to be actively paying attention in class. So rewriting the notes for me was a huge key to my success. And this is kind of maybe a little bit embarrassing to admit, admit but what I would do is go find um, like garbage recycling paper. Uh, I would pull paper out of the recycling bins in the computer labs and places, you know, where the recycle bins didn't have food or whatever in them. So I would just find some old scrap paper and I would use that to take my notes during class and then I would rewrite them later on uh, in a notebook. After re rewriting my notes, I would make flashcards for anything um, that my instructor suggested that we memorize. And I would just make flashcards for anything that I thought might be difficult to remember, even if my instructor didn't tell us to memorize it. I made flashcards for a lot of stuff in organic chemistry. And that I think also was one of the key things that contributed to my success. I always encourage my students to make flashcards and um, 
some of them don't make flashcards and then they start making flashcards partway through the year and then they're like, wow, that's such a good idea. That is so helpful. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. So, you know, make flashcards. It is really helpful. After making flashcards, I would then um, either continue reading my textbook in advance or if I had finished the chapter and um, we weren't done with the chapter yet as a class, I would start working on harder problems from my textbook. And again, this is not me working on my homework. This is just me working on harder homework problems, problems that are at the end of the chapter and things like that. This working on harder homework problems, not the homework, my goal as a student, I'm actually gonna write this in a different color. Uh, my goal as a student was to solve every single problem in my textbook. And I, for the most part, I did that. I solved every single problem in every single chapter, in every single textbook that we used when I was a student. And if there was one thing that I did as a student that helped me be successful, that's it right there. Like that is why I had a 4.0 because I solved every single problem. I had no life. I didn't do anything else other than be a student, um, but that was how I succeeded as a student. After working on harder practice problems, then I would usually work on my actual assigned homework and usually would find that it was pretty easy compared to these textbook problems. And I would end my day by studying my flashcards. And I would usually study my flashcards literally at the end of the day while I was brushing my teeth. Um, and I would also start my day by studying my flashcards. I studied my flashcards at least twice a day, every day, and I would study them a little bit more often right before a test. Um, like I meant, like I said here, I studied my flashcards while I was brushing my teeth. So I literally kept them in my bathroom and I would just flip through them as I was brushing my teeth every morning and every night. And for me, this is the pattern of studying, the idea of just having like this regular routine that you go through when you're studying. One of the things um, that I would definitely suggest for all students is that you are spending a lot of your time working on problems in your book. So working on problems, working on harder problems in your book, working on your homework, things like that. Notice that I'm not reading and rereading, and I'm also not studying my notes or rereading my notes or anything like that. I'm spending a lot of time working on problems. Prepping for organic chemistry or studying organic chemistry, you should approach it in the same kind of way that you would approach the strategy of like learning how to play a sport. If you wanted to learn how to play baseball, you would not do that by spending all of your time reading about baseball, rereading about baseball, writing about baseball, rereading about baseball. You would get out there and you would actually practice baseball. And that is the same type of strategy that you want to use for organic chemistry. Of course, you do need to do some reading and you need to do some listening and you need to do some writing of your notes, but you need to spend a lot of time actually carrying out and working on yourself, working on the problems that you will be solving on tests and quizzes and things like that. So um, I hope that this helps you all become successful. If nothing else, just go into the class with a lot of confidence. Believe in yourself that, uh, that you can be successful because I know that you can.